Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the October edition of News and Notes. I'm Henry Michael Brown, author of The Impossible Man, creator of Splatterbomb, and game designer of Savage Strikers. Here with uh, your uh, latest uh, up-to-date behind-the-scenes stuff uh, regarding my videos of the Office series and Spider-Bomb Lounge. So, uh, to start, uh, as you can see, uh, I'm testing out the audio. First things first. Um, I apologize for the last two um, author video um, shows. Uh, the audio, I've been, I didn't realize that the game audio was uh, louder than, than my... Uh, <clears throat> louder than my mic. And I'm sure I busted a lot of your ears with Undernight and Birth and Skullgirls gameplay. So um, I'm hoping uh, through this uh, news and notes that uh, the audio is tested out well and will not uh, bust your ears. I got up here Battle Fantasia to test out the audio. I brought it down to negative 28 decibels. My uh, mic here, the good old blue snowball, is at negative 6 decibels. So. We'll soon find out if your ears pop <laughs> in news and notes. Um, so far, it sounded very good, so it shouldn't be much of a problem. Uh, another technical uh, uh, news is that I finally figured out how to get uh, OBS to run 60 frames per second and hold on to it uh, for a steady while, while I have both the uh, video and over here. Uh, over here, uh, well, you see where my fingers pointing at. Yeah, there we go. Uh, with the game screen. So what happened is, is that uh, when I have the fish tank on above, but when doing splatter bomb lounge, along with the um, game video and uh, the the webcam, uh, OBS basically stresses out and its uh, frame per second drops all the way down to into the twenties, basically. So, uh, it turns out that it's very highly sensitive <clears throat> uh, to having so many moving parts at once. So, of course, with the author video, I, uh, I need the webcam and uh, the, game, uh, the game screen. And right now, I'm testing out uh, from the video settings of OBS, 1080. Uh, I, I have it set to 1080p for its uh, output. In the in the video section, instead of 720 uh, output, uh, to see how well um, this will work. I uh, hope it doesn't stutter. Well, it'll probably stutter. I'm not sure, but we'll see throughout the news and notes uh, if it stutters or not. Uh, and if I have to go down to 720, um, so uh, that's uh, so so far. It's the lowest it drops uh, in terms of frames is 55. Uh, now it's at 54, but it goes back up to uh, uh, 60 over time. Uh, CPU usage fluctuates around 25% to 30%. That's a it's a lot of stress. Um, but that's but again, I have this uh, the video output set to 1080p. If I switch it down to 720p, uh, I believe all of that will will negate. Uh, it will drop down the CPU usage. So. Basically, um, basically, I'm running on Elgato uh, on the Elgato HD 60s, which uh, for me, I feel for what I paid for, um, I should have this at 1080p 60 frames per second. Uh, there's no, there was no reason for me to not have the, to have it all on 30 frames per second when I have a capture device and uh, and the means to do it. When I use the um, Elgato's uh, game capture program. Um, it comes out beautiful. The games come out beautiful. 1080p, 60 frames per second. With no problems or anything. And I haven't even put the camera um, into it yet. Um, the reason why I'm not using it is because I like my setup here. And the program doesn't let me reduce the game screen. The the game screen. Sorry, my finger is pointing out. This here, uh, game screen. Well, you know, the one on the top left. This one here. There we go. See where my finger's pointing? <laughs> this screen here doesn't shrink. It just stays full size. And I can't figure out how to shrink it down. So that way I could create this whole setup here. My own personal custom setup like this. Uh, for my videos. Because I'm sure that if, uh, if I went, ran through um, Elgato's game capture uh, program. Uh, 
uh, I wouldn't uh, have to go through all this headache with setting up the OBS. I could just drop OBS all together. <clears throat> uh, another thing that I'm experimenting is uh, I'm recording all of this on OBS. That includes the title cards. Uh, I'm gonna try that with uh, with my research videos. I can't do Splatter Bomb Lounge, Splatter Bomb Lounge. I got a whole completely different setup, as you probably might have noticed. So um, I won't know for sure. Um, okay, so uh, I want to try and do the whole entire recording because I feel like the editor that I'm using is not giving me the 60 frames per second, and I would like to have 60 frames per second on my YouTube videos. But since Splatter Bomb Lounge is uh, winding down, I'll, I'll get to more details on that. Um, only the author videos is going to have the 60 frames per second. So as of now, uh, it held down for a good 10, 20 seconds at 60 frames per second. It's now at 20%, so it's fluctuating between 56 and 60 frames. So we'll see how that translates and if I can get, uh, get it to work on 60 frames. Uh, this is uh, PS3, uh, just to give you all a heads up, this is my first go with PS3, and my author's video is going to cover Ultra Street Fighter 4 on uh, PS3, so I'm going to see how that works out. It, it looks dark, I don't know, it feels, it feels like it looks dark to me every time I put it on uh, compared to the Switch, which looks bright, I don't know, maybe that's just the way the systems were, the, were manufactured and designed, uh, but we'll soon see what will happen there. Uh, so, for the office video, if you've noticed, I got this nice new little thing here. This is uh, the move list. And I, uh, I just uh, thought about that, conjured it up. The the icons I got from uh, shorteryoukin.com. I recommend all of you to go to shorteryoukin.com. They have a wiki there with uh, fighting games broken down into, into great detail and great length if you're looking for strategies or uh, uh, if you're looking for damage outputs and such. Uh, frames and everything, as well as uh, as well as understanding how the game operates and works and functions. Uh, so uh, I thank uh, Shoryuken.com, you know, for um, having these icons available for uh, for in their website for all of us to be able to understand how to read uh, move lists and move sets and 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 movements. Uh, <clears throat> okay, and of course I'm still keeping this up, uh, handy dandy little. Uh, a little annotation system with regards to fighting games. I hope it's been helpful for all of you who've watched the videos. Uh, let's see, what else? I think that's it on the back end, behind the behind the scenes. So let me get into uh, some of the stuff here. Uh, Splatter Bomb Lounge. Uh, I am winding that down narratively. Uh, once I end that, uh, the Splatter Bomb League arc. That's pretty much it. Uh, I will not continue on with grip. I am inching, most definitely inching along with that game. Only finishing one tournament per episode, and that's uh, that's not good. Uh, I I grossly underestimated my abilities to play that game. Uh, that's definitely a game that belongs on Twitch. That would probably be played on Twitch. It's uh, I feel like uh, aside from the rubber banding, that strong rubber banding, the game I feel like the the it's uh, campaign mode is asking a little too much of perfect driving. I'm not saying that's a that's a bad thing. I mean it's all about the skill and everything, but it is uh, but for a show like Splatter Bomb Launch, it doesn't fit and it's causing uh, and it has caused the show to stagnate. But uh, well, contributing to the stagnation, but um. As I've said before, my uh, I guess uh, in my news and notes, uh, I'm I'm not doing a very good job with uh, with the scripting with the script hybrid. Uh, the voices are starting to weaken. I'm really losing the character voices now. Uh, so once I finish up the Splatter Bomb League arc, because uh, in that part it's the it's the tournament. Once I get past uh, that, I will give it a formal ending. I've already set the tone for ending the show, uh, if you've seen the previous episode of Splatter Bomb Lounge. So once that's done, that uh, the, uh, the Splatter Bomb League arc, um, I'll do maybe one or two more episodes uh, to close out. Uh, to close out properly, you know, give the characters a proper send-off, and bid that, uh, bid that part of the show adieu. 
Uh, as for the Smash Brothers uh, edition of Spy Bomb League, well, I've got a long way to go since I'm only doing two a week, uh, two characters a week. And Steve came out. Minecraft Steve came out. I do have opinions about it. And I will reserve that for when I do the, um, the first uh, gameplay on October 13th. So just like Min Min, I'm gonna do a first look uh, of Steve. So you're gonna get the full the full cast of characters, and I will share my thoughts on Minecraft Steve as I start working my way through. Uh, oh my! My exposure is horrible. I'll have to fix that up. Mm, I'm, I look like a ghost. Oh. oh. <laughs> a little fun for you guys there. Um, I'm almost done here, so um, that's what's happening with Splatter Bomb Lounge. Once I uh, once uh, once I retire the the, the Splatter Bomb League arc, I'm going to start expanding um, the author series. So because I need to really step up on the game design because I'm uh, on Savage Strikers game design because uh, I'm doing it once a week. Uh, yeah, I'm doing it. Uh, I'm only doing the update. Uh, I'm uh, working on it once a week, and I should really be doing it every day. But that's because I'm relying on the videos, and I want you all in on the journey. So I'm gonna start increasing uh, the episodes once I get past Splatter Bomb Lounge. Uh, I'm expecting November to be done with uh, the Splatter Bomb League arc. Shouldn't finish. I should be done no later than November. And once uh, once that's done, then I'll start increasing the number of um, author research videos, so that way I can uh, start getting Savage Strikers done and get the characters up to date. Because that's all I have to do is just get the characters up to date, do uh, do a couple of quick play tests, and then start looking for uh, publishers uh, that will be interested in the game. Um, yeah, so that's uh that's the situation there. Uh, seems like the game is holding up very well at uh, 55. So it looks like I'm probably gonna have to drop it from 1080. The output, uh, video output uh, of the OBS uh, settings from 1080 to 720. So I'm hoping that when I post uh, the videos up, uh, when I do the author's video, which I'm gonna uh, do with this whole entire uh, setup the way I have. That it will come in at the that it will still stay at 1080p and, and not be at 720p, um, not cap out at 720p because that's what I'm worried about. I really want the 1080p, you know, 1080p 60 frames per second. But uh, I guess I can't win them all. Uh, now uh, to go back to that to the getting this uh, fixed up, uh, I just uh, had to fix the Logitech. Now, uh, so when the Logitech is off and I'm just only running the the game. Uh, the CPU output is like around 10%, and then the same goes for if I just do the the webcam and not the and not the the gameplay. So if it's one, you know, if I just use only one moving screen, uh, it goes at 10 frames. But when they combine, when I do two at the same time, it spikes up to around 25 to 30 frames. Uh, but I've been able to to maintain steady the the steady uh, 60 frames per second uh, at 720p, but uh, it's fluctuating too much at 1080p uh, from what I can see as of this video. So uh, now I got a good now that I got a firm good look at it. Uh, once I see how it looks on YouTube, uh, then we'll, that's when uh, the decisions will be uh, made. Uh, okay, so. Um, just want you all to know as uh, um, I'm having uh, another thing on okay, so that's that situation another thing that I'm having a hard time with is the whole subscribe thing I feel very weirded out I mean I'm I'm I, I'm um, I'm inviting you guys to subscribe to my channel uh, in character as Koki san in spider bomb lounge but in the author video um, yeah, uh, you know, the only reason why I ramble about is because I just feel weird, you know, asking for your subscribe buttons, even though uh, YouTube recommends it and YouTubers recommend it, but it just feels weird. And I'm just trying to find a way to convey that without sounding like I'm, I'm desperate or begging or something, you know, because um, I'm not used to I'm not used to doing that, uh, you know, and, and I know you all saying, well, you, you do that in Spider-Man, but that's because I'm in character. 
so I'm kind of acting that out, but in the author's video, I feel weirded out um, asking for subscriptions and 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 such. You know, uh, the you know comment section is not the is not really the same because I'm trying to interact with you guys uh, in terms of the comment section or eventually the the chat room once uh, once I get into the Twitch thing, but um, but. You know, I, I figured I'll try the with the end. Uh, start trying with the ending title card, saying please subscribe. So, um, yeah, you know, you're you're all you're all are welcome to subscribe. Uh, I don't need to say smash the like button or, or or click on the. I don't need to do any of that pandering stuff or that weird stuff. You know, uh, you subscribe, you're welcome to subscribe and you know enjoy all the videos that come uh, that I uh, release. I'm hoping that my author research videos. Um, are informative and helpful especially for those of you who want to be game designers and it's only a matter of time when I could clear out a spider bomb lounge that I'll try and see uh, about what to do with some of my writings uh, what to do with my writings because uh, I want to also help out writers out there too not just game designers so those of you who want to um, listen to who want to do uh, book writing I uh, hope I can help out in some some capacity. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, that's pretty much it. So, uh, that's all. That's all I got for uh, for news and notes. I just gotta, you know, do something about the uh, picture. I am pasty ghost like. Ooh, ghost. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have any. Uh, I'm not doing any gameplay for Battle Fantasia. I want to get started on the the research video and make uh, make some adjustments uh, to this uh, uh, to the OBS. Now that uh, now that I got a good look, I'm still clocking in around 58, 57 uh, frames, uh, 60 frames at 28 percent. So yeah, so now I know what, what adjustments to make, and I hope that this all looks uh, nice and good on YouTube and didn't come out all stuttery on you guys and I'm hoping that the the 60 frames per second options are made available in the YouTube uh, uh, in, in on YouTube for, so that we all can get to see this in 60 frames per second so uh, without, uh, without further ado I wish you all a good night and a buenas noches